Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video we are going to review Princess Polly. Now back in the day Princess Polly was like the OG Aussie brand. All Aussie girls were wearing their clothes. They were really cute and really good quality and over the years they have spread into being like an international company. I know a lot of my American girlies were obsessed, a lot of my UK girls. However I have heard whispers on TikTok that Princess Polly has fallen off and isn't as good as it once was. I personally kind of forgot that Princess Polly even existed so I thought in today's video we would test it out for ourselves because I bought a bunch of items from Princess Polly to see if it still holds up. Like, is this still a good brand? Or have they fallen off? Y'all know I will give you the tea. But before we get into that, as y'all know, I'm a bit of a gym girly. I go to the gym a minimum of three times a week now, which is insane. I'm always on the hunt for some new activewear that actually works well. And I figured because it's the start of the new year, a lot of people out there would be working towards their fitness goals and on the hunt for some new cute activewear. So I have received a pink package from Fanka here today. They have sent me a couple of leggings and a crop top to try, and we will see if they are really really as good as I keep seeing all these influencers talk about. Because I keep seeing reviews for these on Instagram and TikTok. However, what initially caught my attention was the colors that they have. So they have over 30 different colors that you can choose from. And I saw everyone else talking about how these are like a high compression leggings. So they actually raise your like booty 15 degrees and have 360 tummy control. But what I personally am most intrigued to see if it is real or not is the knee support. So I'm really 24 years old and I already have really bad knees. Apparently this is meant to give you some extra knee support, which I am always looking looking for, especially like going to the gym, I do worry that I'm gonna like do more damage to my knees. So I'm super intrigued to see if all of these claims are actually true. So I also got a pair of the leggings in the green color that again have all of the lifting and sculpting technology on it. And I'm guessing it has a thicker waistband for that like tummy control. And then to match with the green leggings, I got a green crop top. So I got a couple of cute colors here. I did really bad at matching the greens. I thought they were gonna match perfectly, but alas, they do not. I've seen your comments about the audio in these videos and not liking that new microphone I got. Honestly, I didn't love it either, but I thought I was just going crazy. So I saw your comments saying that it wasn't very good. We're testing this out today. Hopefully this is a lot better. So these are what the green outfit looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back. They are so incredibly tight, you guys, like trying to get them on. It was difficult indeed, but that is because of the compression technology. So I was a little skeptical. I was like, sure, it really d rises my butt 15 degrees. Y'all, my butt has never looked better. I was shocked. So the biggest questions that I have with these is first of all, does the knee support really work? Like, can I feel any difference when I do squats? Because that's when I personally feel the most amount of knee pain. And also is it squat proof on the back? So we're just gonna do like a couple of squats here. I can definitely feel on my knees that there is a tighter compression around it. As for the squat proof, let's see. I'm wearing black underwear by the way, which is like weird to say, but I think it's important to know because then we can see for real. It's so weird to show, but like <laughs> it's, squat proof and you cannot see my underwear, which is absolutely amazing. These leggings also have pockets, which is absolutely amazing. And they come in more than 30 stunning colors and they have a 30 days return and exchange policy. Here we have the pink leggings on, but this is the front and this is the back. So these are super cute, but what I wanted to show you guys is how these really are reversible. So this is the pair I had on earlier and this is them inside out. And as you can see, you could totally wear these to the gym. So let's once again do the squat test and see. I feel like these are not see through as well. Amazing. So be sure to check out Faker today. I'll of course have the link down below, like always. And be sure to use my code for 12% off your purchase because who wants to pay full price? Not me, that's for sure. Thank you so much to Faker for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the next review, which is of Princess Polly. So let's start it off with this super cute like white top that I ordered and I am gonna give you guys potentially the best tip I've ever given on my channel and that is shopping on Princess Polly can be really really cheap now this sounds like it's gonna be a scam I promise you it's not okay this is kind of cute it's like a Dorothy vibes top this super cute white cropped up with like the blue lace detail on it so I got this top for $16 and this is the most expensive item that I have in this video how did I do that you ask well Princess Polly is such a big website now they have so many items and as such they are cycling through trends pretty quickly and to constantly try and get rid of their old stock. So if you go onto their website, I recommend doing what I did and sort from low to high in price and you will literally find items on that. I think I got a couple that were like $4. So I was very surprised that this is part of the stock they were like getting rid of and was so cheap. It does look to be really see-through though. I'm very intrigued to see what this looks like when it's on, but I love it. It's like a little Dorothy from Wizard of Oz top. Oh, let's go put it on. This is what the top looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back. I love this. I feel like it is so stinking cute. It is so like dainty and girly and adorable. So I was a little confused when I first put it on where the sleeves are meant to go. Like if they're meant to be off the shoulder or up here, but I looked at the model photo and they're meant to be sitting up like this. And something that's really good about this top is that the sleeves underneath here have the little like sticky parts so that they actually stay up 
and they're not going to fall down because if these leaves fall down, it then loosens up this and then everything is out, which no one wants. That's not what we want. So I was mainly nervous to see if this was going to be see-through or not. Like I'm not wearing a bra underneath this and you can't see anything, which is amazing. If I do say so myself, this is a gorgeous girly outfit that I am definitely going to wear if I'm going like to a coffee day, not day, like going to get coffee with friends or like going shopping or something. I feel like this is just such a gorgeous girly outfit. Like I'm so happy with this top. I feel like I've not been this happy with an outfit in such a long time. So 10 out of 10. Love this obsessed. So the way I'm gonna structure this is that we're gonna go from the most expensive items to the least expensive. So that top was $16. These pants were 12 Australian dollars. And if these are cute and fit me well, then I have just gotten the deal of the century. Because I got these faux leather burgundy pants for 12, oh, for $12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And like it does look really good, but let's go to the bottom of these pants, shall we? Why have they not been like finished? Why have they just been cut at the end there with no hemming, no sewing? What's going on? And the cutting is awful. Wait, what? Look at that on my hand there. The cutting on this is absolutely awful. That is also going to fray really easily over time. And like look really dusty and crusty and musty down the bottom. Why do we not? Why do we skip corners here? Because I know I got these for $12, but let's see how much they originally retail for. <laughs> $70. I would not be happy if I paid $70 for these pants and they have not even hemmed the bottom and have just cut them off really jaggedly. That's pretty poor. These pants are a major disappointment after that gorgeous start to this video with the beautiful top. So these are what the pants look like on. This is the front and this is the back. Now I know I talked about the quality of these in regards to the bottom of them and how they were cut off when I was opening them. But when I was putting these on, I really noticed how poor the quality is on these. So I have a few faux leather pants. My favorite ones are from Shopsider and they aren't super thick, but they are a lot thicker than this. This is just the one slice of material and it's really cheap faux leather. This is essentially just plastic. Like all faux leather is plastic, of course. However, there are the nicer ones and the bad cheap ones. And this is definitely the like bad cheap one. So that is my first gripe with these is that the quality is awful. My second is the fit. So I got these in a size Australian eight. I'm a size Australian six in everything. Like all of my clothes are an Aussie size six, but I knew that these would be a little bit small because last time I ordered from Princess Polly, I literally couldn't even do up the size six pants. So I knew that their pant sizing was a little bit off. These are size eights and honestly, I could probably go with a size 10. Again, I am usually a size six. So I really shouldn't have to size up too whole sizes to fit the pants like the sizing is clearly off and they're just all round and awkward design like there's not enough space in the crotch area they're that weird level where they're not like high-waisted they're not normal size and they're not low-waisted either they're just kind of in between and all round i'm super disappointed in these pants like i know i only paid what $12 for them that I'm not disappointed in like for 12 bucks they're like oh yeehaw these are totally fine but I'm more thinking for the people out there that paid $70 for these they must be so so disappointed my faith in Princess Polly is slowly wavering and I think the TikTok reviews may be right that they are falling off but the next item I got for eight dollars which is just insane it's a pair of jeans for eight bucks oh I got these in a size six ah uh, I hope that they fit but these look to be like such a cute pair of denim jeans. Oh my God. So they say love all over them, which I really like. I think it's super cute because a lot of these like old stock items are outdated. Like I won't lie to y'all, a lot of it's like ugly and outdated pieces. So you do have to scroll through it quite a bit. However, I think it is totally worth it if you're able to find a cute pair of jeans like this for eight. That's insane. Like that is so insane. I was worried about how these jeans were gonna fit me as we know because I ordered them in my usual size. Crazy concept, I'm aware, but they do not fit me. I am like shoved into these jeans. Almost know that I'm gonna have a Shrek moment where the button pops off and I like break my mirror because these are so incredibly tight. So this is the front and this is the back. Now originally the outfit I had planned, I was going to tuck in this shirt and this is like a skims shirt, super thin, not much material. I literally can't get it in the jeans because these are so tight. So I am going to do something so like uncouth and unbutton these, oh my God, <laughs> so that I can breathe. <laughs> like I, oh, these are so tight, which is just ridiculous because I got these in my actual size and they just don't fit at all. Like. I really shouldn't have this much of an issue with sizing. So it's super disappointing because these jeans are stunning. Like, and again, for the price, I'm not annoyed at the price that I got these for, right? Like, I'm not complaining like, oh my God, I spent $12 and they're not perfect. Like, no, not at all. Obviously, you know, I expect these things when I'm not spending very much. However, that's through my digging. Once upon a time, these were on Princess Polly for a lot more than what I paid. And the sizing is just way, way off. So that is a good indicator for the whole website. If you're buying any pants or anything, be sure 
to buy at least one if not two sizes up because these are just like ridiculously tiny. We're now getting down to some pretty good deals here that if I do say so myself is why I call myself a professional shopper because if these items are good I've done well because this top was four Aussie dollars and I won't lie to y'all I'm nervous to see the quality. So it is this brown satin bodysuit. This is what it looks like. I feel like that's kind of cute. I don't love 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 the neckline like I kind of wish that it was all the one material and they hadn't added the collar separately to it but for four dollars I mean I'm not complaining. Do not get me wrong I am not complaining. It actually seems to be pretty good like I was expecting this quality to be awful and super see-through but I, I it's not looking it to me so let's see how much this retail for. $55 and I got it for four. That's insane. Okay, so we're getting to the point now where there's like too many fails in a row that I'm starting to get irritated. So this is what the top looks like on. This is the front and this is the back and I can't do this up. I fear I may now be stuck in this top forever. So I can't, just making sure my boob isn't popping out. I can't do up the side here because it is way too small. Again, I got this in an Australian size six. So I can't do it up because it's way too tight. It's also way too short to like do up as a bodysuit as well. If I pull this down, as you guys can see, like that's probably about how far it needs to go. Everything is about to pop out. The neck is being like super strained and it's just not going to fit me at all. So whenever I'm talking about this sort of stuff, I'm like, oh my God, the sizing is off. I always do worry that people will just be like, Annie, babe, maybe you're a size bigger and you're just like, I don't know, in denial, not accepting it, don't realize, whatever. But I think the perfect way to prove my point that this is made poorly and the sizing is not correct is that that white top I tried on right in the beginning of this video is in the exact same size. They are both an Australian size six, so it makes no sense why one was like a little bit big on me and this one is so tight that I can't even do it up. Again, I know I didn't pay much for these. So in that regard, I'm not like, oh my God, I've wasted my money. Like, no, I scoured the website for the cheapest possible items. However, people out there that bought this full price must be really disappointed. And I do think that it's still a good indicator of what Princess Polly is like as a whole because all of their sizing would be off. If I'm having this issue with multiple garments, then the sizing of like a majority of the items would be off. And a lot of their items aren't cheap. Like if I'm paying, what was this, 50 bucks and this is what arrives, I would be so, so irritated. And the lucky last items that I have today is of course a two piece set. Y'all know I'm obsessed with two pieces. So the top was $4 and the skirt was $4. So technically eight, but $4 each. Now this print, I was a little bit unsure if it would be considered like outdated. You guys will have to let me know down below what you think. So the crop top is actually like pretty well made. So I'll have to see what that's like when it's on, but it does have the sticky stuff up here which is really good for strapless tops because it's not gonna fall down. If it doesn't have that, it just rolls onto itself and exposes the fabric underneath, which no one wants to see. So that is really cute. Ah, uh, again, I got this in a size six. I really hope that it fits and it's not too small on me because I think this is so cute. For $8, this is an absolute steal, but let's see what it normally retails for. This set is usually 90 Australian dollars. That's insane. This outfit proves my point that the sizing on Princess Polly is just all off because this is in the exact same size as everything else in this video except for the red pants. Everything has been a size six, the red pants were a size eight, and this fits me perfectly. Like this is perfectly in my size. The top fits perfectly, so does the skirt. So this is the front and this is the back. So it makes no sense why this top easy to get on, looks good, fits good, perfect. Meanwhile, that bodysuit, I'm like exploding out of and can't even get on my body. It makes no sense, but this outfit, I think I like it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm unsure if it's outdated or not, but I don't think it is. I feel like it's such a cute, funky pattern. I wouldn't normally wear my hair like this, but it is 40 degrees in Brisbane today, so hair up is required, but I would probably wear my hair down just because it's a strapless design. When you have a strapless outfit, that's where your hair down with it. It just looks like so much cuter. So I really like this. It's super cute, super comfy. And for $8, this is such a steal. It's really like redeemed this video, hey, because we started off with that super cute top, had all of the disasters in the middle and then have ended on this super cute outfit. So overall, I think that Princess Polly has fallen off. The original prices of these items were absolutely insane for the quality. Like you are really getting Shein quality here for really ridiculous prices. I wouldn't recommend shopping at Princess Polly, which is so sad 
good because it's one of the OG Australian brands. Like Princess Polly walked so that White Fox could run. So it is very upsetting to see that the quality has dropped. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My link is down below, like always. Whilst you're there, be sure to check out Fanker because they were, of course, the sponsor of today's video and made this video possible. So if you're looking for some new leggings, be sure to check them out. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'm absolutely everywhere. If you look up Annalise Wood, I should come up. I love you guys so, so much, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah!